Hey guys, what's happening? And thanks for tuning in. So last night I watched The Reckoning, uh, which is, uh, it's either a Shudder original or a uh, Shudder exclusive. I can't remember which, uh, but anyway, it's on Shudder. Uh, I'd seen the preview for this one a couple of weeks ago on the last drive-in with uh, Joe Bob Briggs. Uh, if y'all watch Joe Bob, you know that he shows two uh, movies every week uh, during the season. And in between, uh, there's a little intermission where Shudder uh, shows um, previews for things that they have up and coming. So I saw the preview for this one and thought it looked really good. Uh, and also uh, saw that it was directed by Neil Marshall, uh, who was also the director for uh, The Descent and Dog Soldiers. Uh, two movies that I enjoy uh, very, very much. So I was excited to see this one. Um, it takes place back in the 1600s uh, during the years of the bubonic plague. And the story focuses on a young woman named Grace. Uh, long story short, uh, she is accused of witchcraft. And she is arrested, put in prison. And the movie focuses on her imprisonment, uh, her torture, her trial, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, so that's the basic idea behind this one. Um, I thought it was um, fairly accurate from a historic perspective. Um, you know, I've seen other movies uh, on, the, you know, the witch trials are very similar themes. Um, other films, you know, that took place uh, during the years of the bubonic plague. Uh, so it looked, uh, you know, as good or better than most of them, I thought. Um Again, you know, I haven't done a whole lot of research or anything into either one of these topics, but uh, but from you know from what I gathered, it was uh, believable and you know pretty historically accurate. I think um, I was surprised to see that uh, there's a lot of negative reviews out there for this one. I think it's got a four point something rating on IMDb, a lot of one, two, and three star ratings. Uh, I read several bad reviews for this one uh, from various um, you know horror sites. And I don't really understand it. I mean, I'm not going to go into, you know, what all their complaints were and everything because I mean, it was pretty varied. I mean, some people thought it was boring. Some people thought, you know, it, was, uh, it just didn't look good. Um, yeah, I, I'm not really sure exactly what they were, you know, what they were expecting uh, or, you know, what more that they wanted from this film because I thought it was very well done. Uh, Grace is played by uh, Charlotte Kirk. Uh, she's a, a very beautiful woman, so that definitely helps the watchability for it for me anyway. Uh, but anyway, uh, she is, um, I don't know if she's the wife of Neil Marshall or his fiance or girlfriend. I'm not really sure, um, but they are a, a couple. Uh, and they co-wrote uh, this film together along with um, the person that wrote the story that it's based on. Um, so again, I mean, it goes pretty in-depth um, because most of the film focuses on, you know, her trial as a witch. And during this time... Um, well, her husband has died. Uh, he was um, infected with the plague uh, at the beginning of the film. And in order to, uh, to keep uh, his wife and his young daughter, or uh, their infant daughter, uh, Abby, um, from becoming infected, he hung himself. Uh, so he committed suicide. And, um, of course, you know, that has a, a big, you know, toll on Grace. You know, she has lost her husband. She is now, you know, left to support her daughter, um, the squire that owns the land and the house that they live in. Um, I won't go into a whole lot of detail with him for those that haven't seen the film, but, uh, but yeah, he's a, he's a bastard, uh, you know, starts you know, coming in right after, you know, her husband has died and saying, you know, rent is still due. Uh, you'll be kicked out if you're not paying the rent. Uh, but if you can't come up with the money, there's other ways, if you know what I mean, and I think you do, uh, to uh, pay your rent. And she's not having any of that. So, uh, again, he is, the, he is the one that actually is the, accused, the initial accuser of her being a witch. And then they call in uh, a witch finder uh, general. Um, he is played by Sean Pertwee. Uh, who is, um, he was in Dog Soldiers as well, but uh, I've seen him in several other films. Uh, he always plays the bad guy, um, and he doesn't just play the bad guy. I mean, the bad guys that he plays are just absolute assholes. 
I mean, to the point that I would actually believe that Sean Pertwee himself is probably an asshole in real life. That's how convincing he is. I'm not saying he is. I mean, obviously, I've never met the man. I've never read anything about him. But, yeah, if it come to find out that, you know, he was the world's biggest asshole, I would believe it because that is the character that he always plays, and he does it so well uh, that maybe it just comes natural. <laughs> but uh, anyway, again, I'm not saying that he is. He's probably the nicest guy in the world because that's the way it usually turns out, right? Uh, but anyway, um, I thought the, the acting in this film, which was another complaint that people had, uh, I thought it was really good, really convincing. I mean, uh, Charlotte Kirk is Grace. I mean, she's going through a lot. I mean, her husband has died. You know, she's all alone now. She's got a, an infant daughter to, to worry about. Uh, she's being accused of, of witchcraft, and of course, you know, she's in prison. She's being tortured every day. Um, so she's under an incredible amount of stress, uh, you know, just this mental state that she's in. And, I mean, I thought she played that character very well. I mean, she is determined that she is not going to confess. Uh, her mother, when she was a young girl, was burned at the stake. Uh, in front of her eyes for being a witch by the same man who is now leading the trial that she's involved in. So, I mean, you got all these things coming together. Uh, and then there's a possible, and I say possible because it, this is one of those films where it's probably just whichever way you want to go with it. Uh, there could be a supernatural element. Um, there are, now there's a few flashbacks. Um, a lot of this backstory is told through flashback, but there's also a lot of, uh, you could call them either visions or hallucinations uh, that um, Grace has um, involving uh, her husband, uh, her dead husband. Uh, his corpse <laughs> basically appears to her uh, and talks and gives gives her advice, tells her things that she needs to do. Uh, things like that, and then also the devil himself. Uh, the devil himself is after her, um, you know, for various uh, purposes. You can probably guess which way they're going. Um, but yes, but the, it, there's nothing in the film that I think definitively states whether um, this is actually happening or if it's just all in her head. I mean, we could certainly believe it either way, Um but anyway, just a, you know, I just thought it was a very interesting film. I mean, I found it entertaining. It was engaging all the way through. Again, I thought the acting was convincing. Um, you know, I, one of the complaints was that it just didn't look like it took place in the 17th century. And I'm like, well, it, I'm sure it didn't have the biggest budget in the world. I mean, you know, it takes a lot of time and effort, you know, to really get things you know, exactly, you know, right, but they're like, you can't call this a period piece because it looks too, it looks too, you know, clean or whatever, and I'm like, again, I just don't understand the nitpicking uh, that some people seem to be doing on this film. I mean, it looked fine to me. I mean, yeah, it looks like a modern horror film. I mean, the film is well produced, um, but I mean, it's not like, you know, back in the 1600s, they said, okay, well, everybody just move out of this village. We're going to keep it exactly like it is. So in, you know, 500 years, when they decide they're going to start making movies about this period, they'll have an authentic place to film in. I mean, that shit didn't happen. So, I mean, what are you expecting, right? Uh, but anyway, I thought the film looked good. I thought the, the acting was, was good. Um, I thought it was, you know, for the most part, historically accurate. I mean, there were some errors here and there, I guess. So uh, there's a, you know, some text after it's all over uh, that says that, you know, uh, it's estimated that 500,000 women in Europe and America were accused of witchcraft. Uh, I think that's uh, about 10 times more than it actually was. I think the actual historical uh, estimates are 40 to 50, maybe 60,000. Still a lot more than there ever should have been because we all know how ridiculous, uh, you know, this notion of being a witch is. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, just overall, I had a great time with the film. Um, I mean, it's not a masterpiece, uh, but as far as sitting down, I, I think the film's a little over 90 minutes, about 110 minutes long, something like that. Um, but, you know, if you want to sit down and, and have a, you know, watch a, a good horror movie, uh, I thought this was a, a pretty decent one to watch. It was definitely not a waste of time. Uh, it's very atmospheric uh, at times when it needs to be. Um, it's got some, some pretty shocking gore scenes in it. Um, and, and I say that not from the sense that, you know, they're just that, you know, 
disturbing or or that gory. Um, that's not shocking from a gore hound perspective. It was just kind of shocking in that they were kind of unexpected uh, when they happened in the film. Because um, the film's not um, overly bloody or overly gory. I mean, you know, it doesn't go into the torture scenes as much as it could. Um, and, and I think that's probably a good thing. I think it would have it would have felt gratuitous um, or over the top for the type film that this is. Um, so what is there, I think, is is good. Um, but uh, but yeah, there were a few moments in the film where you know it was like wow, <laughs> you know, that just kind of came out of nowhere. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a you know um, Grace is a very you know sympathetic character. I mean, it's easy to get behind her because I mean we obviously know that she's innocent. Um, you know, we're pulling for her to survive. Uh, you know, we're behind her in her determination that she is not going to give them what they want um, because she's smart enough to realize that she's going to die either way. I mean, because that's what happened to these women. If they confess, they're killed because they're a witch. And if they don't confess, they're tortured until they die. So, I mean, she's going to die. You know, confessing is just a way out of it and giving them the justification that they're looking for. Because these people that were putting them on trial, you know, they were trying to also vindicate their actions. If the if the person finally said, yes, I'm a witch, or like, see, what we're doing is God's will. You know, so she's not giving them that satisfaction. So you're behind her in this 100%. Um, but yeah, just overall, I thought this was a, a well done film. I, I really just don't understand, uh, the, the negative reactions that it's getting. So if you get a chance to sit down and watch this one, uh, definitely do it and, and let me know what you think. Um, because I'm going to give this one a solid thumbs up. Again, it's not a masterpiece. I mean, it's not something that, uh, that's going to go into, uh, you know, the rotation of films that I like to come back to, um, you know, over and over again, but I could see myself watching this film again, um, and, and not mind doing it, uh, because again, I just thought it was, uh, it was pretty well done and, and entertaining, uh, especially for what it was. So if you like this review, guys, uh, let me know by clicking that like down below, uh, subscribe to the channel. That way you can see all the other reviews I've uploaded. And if you click that bell, YouTube will let you know every time I upload a new review. So as always guys, thanks for watching. And until next time, we'll see you.